Hey, what up everybody? This is Marcellus. Wanted to do an unboxing video of the Rising HF Helium Miner from FastMiners.com. Now we got that aside, we can throw it out off there. And um, basically, I didn't see too many uh, unboxing videos or any much information about this at all. So I figured once I get it in, uh, I will go ahead and do the video. And um, forgive me for the mess around here. Is this this thing came in a day early? And I wasn't really prepared, so went ahead and just kind of did this in a hurry. But without further ado, so first and foremost, this is the box that it came in. Um, right here, uh, we have what looks like a 2 DBI antenna. And I assume this is going to be the lower wind antenna because here it says 860 to 930 megahertz. Um, I tend to use these uh, enclosures uh, in rural areas. I'm not really in the city area. So depending on where this one's going to be deployed, we might be switching that antenna out uh, with something a little bit more of a DBI to get more of a horizontal throw there. Uh, so here we have a 4G antenna, a 2 DBI. And then we have the Wi-Fi antenna. 2400 to 2500 megahertz, so <clears throat> you know, not like a regular uh, 5G network, just a regular, you know, 2.4 gigahertz. And you also have your GPS uh, antenna. So plenty of antennas that come uh, with it. Uh, here on the sides, you have a very nice looking PoE injector. Uh, I do got a pretty decent weight to it looks like it has a pretty good you know quality uh, you also have the actual um, power cord and then this looks like a grounding cord network cable we got a cable uh, gland and then I assume this is going to be you know mounting hardware uh, for the actual uh, device so we might actually end up using our own mounting solutions um, these screws right here just for mounting on the pole and this I am not sure what it is so let's see if we can get this open this is a uh, oh, multi strike oh I assume this is a surge protector okay let's let's take a look Doo -doo -doo. whoops it's not coming off the way that I intend it. All right. Oh, okay. Yeah, just a regular lightning surge protector. So I got a few of those laying around, but I'll go ahead and use this one that uh, came with it. So it's good. They supply everything that you need um, for this thing to go in place outdoors so I do really appreciate that let's go ahead and throw that back in there and the miner itself so I did take a look little, little peek at it you know beforehand just kind of familiarize myself and loosen some of these screws so uh, but you have here a, a DC connector so I'm not totally familiar with these type of connectors uh, I'll have to do some research on that and then you have your RJ45, which is what I'll be using out in the field. Uh, we run power over Ethernet to uh, all of our existing uh, miners that are sitting in enclosures. And then a USB connection. So I'll have to do some research and digging into that as well. One of the things I do like about this, they really put like this rubberized uh, sealant on there. And it kind of makes me... Uh, strongly reconsider uh, the ones that I currently do uh, that maybe I should go through and you know give them an extra you know ceiling I just you know it's not the prettiest but I'm more about function so you got your LoRa antenna you got your GPS antenna your Wi-Fi antenna and then you have your LTE so let's go ahead and open this up a bit here uh, and I didn't bring my Allen wrench. Give me a sec. All right. 
we may or may not cut that out. All right. So let's go ahead and unscrew this one. What I do like about these screws is that when you unscrew them, um, they don't come all the way out. So if you're on top of a tall building um, or a tower, you don't have to worry about your screws falling out. I can't tell you how much of that has been a problem for us. So look at this beautiful board. So you have all the different antenna connections uh, coming in. And if you remember, this one is the lower right here. So if we chase this cable from here, that brings us over to here. So I assume this is going to be the actual um, board for the uh, helium uh, chip. So they got like some hot sinks on some heat sinks on here. So, you know, can't really identify, you know, the, the board itself, but I'm sure that that will be it. And um, man, just everything on here looks great. Looks beautiful. Um, looks like you got a card slot right here, so we'll take that in consideration as well. Uh, looks like I might be getting a, a data plan. Got like a little battery here that's uh, glued into place. That's interesting. And they also glued their antenna connection here as well, so they definitely wanted to make sure that that is not coming out. So, you know, good on them. But yeah, everything in here looks well built. I really do like the look of it. And uh, well, I'll tell you what, let's get started. Let's power her up. Let's put her together because I don't want to power her up without actually uh, getting the antennas in. I don't want to damage any of the hardware and uh, see what we got.